So my, I own a company here in Manhattan. It's called Techscape. Uh, it used to be Techscape LLC until December, and now it's Techscape Inc. for obvious reasons. Uh, we operate in managed services. We operate in networking infrastructure and a lot inside of cloud services. Uh, I'm going to walk you through a journey of the transition of my business throughout the last five years to where we are today. So what I hope to, everybody gets from this presentation is commitment on how to change your business if you haven't started to change your business to an all-in type strategy. How do you make the modifications that you need to make to be the most profitable that you could possibly be? Uh, additionally, uh, changing the methodology instead of being the first person that leads into it to being the person that leads from behind, who the person who directs the staff and who directs uh, the various employees to be able to lead from behind. Also, how to message your target uh, to your appropriate audience. Your appropriate audience is no longer the IT department, uh, and it used to be several years ago. How do you message your, your, uh, your communication to them, and how do you message your presentation to them? And then finally, how to package your products to become more, more profitable. I'm effectively going to unpack how I sell my managed services and how I sell the different pieces that are cloud hosted with the hopes that you replicate it. Beginning uh, in the top here, that the percentage of profit that you typically make on different services that you sell. You typically make 10 to 20% gross profit on hardware or software. You typically make 30 to 35% profit on professional services. And when you do some sort of package pricing or bundled services, you're making a 50 to 60% gross profit. So your blended gross profit is the combination of the profit of all those different aspects that you sell divided by the total revenue that you do. So if we take that and we start, we layer that out into different pieces of your business, you can identify the amount of gross profit per piece of your business. This is important so that you understand the areas in which that you're making money in. If you don't know where you're making the most profitability inside of your business, you need to take the time to evaluate where the profitability is coming from. So when we shifted, we were 85 to 90% product or software business and 15% reoccurring. Today we're 53% reoccurring and 47% product at the same top line revenue. Two years to do it. Here's what we did to be able to do it. Number one, you're going to have to address every single part of your business to be able to find the way that you can modify it to change it so that it can support the new type of model. Your engineering, your finance team, your sales and marketing team all have to be modified and changed. Before you make that shift, you have to be the first person to shift. I did, uh, when I started this process and I started this changing of this process, I said, I'm either going to run this business the way that I want to run it or I'm going to burn it to the ground. And I didn't mean that to be destructive, but I meant that I had to be all in. Second thing you're going to need to start looking into is the engineering. So the challenge that you're going to have is that do you have the right engineering for your product set? Are your engineers overpaid for moving to a reoccurring model? You need to evaluate that because it's always hard to lay somebody off or let somebody go if the financial model doesn't support it anymore. But you need to make that tough decision to do that. Um, you're going to have to change the financial model. What do you have for finances that are available to you? to be able to make this transition and to make this shift. Um, moving to a reoccurring revenue model can be expensive and take time. You're no longer selling these $100,000 projects and then making $20,000 on them anymore. You're now selling a $2,000 project making $400 on it. So planning and saving, not jumping into a reoccurring model without understanding uh, how it affects your revenue stream and forecasting that out to be able to identify, are you gonna run out of cash before you can make this transition and shift? And if you are gonna run out of cash, when will that point be and what do you need to do to accommodate for that sort of thing? So what do I care about as a business owner? So as a business owner, I care about the gross profit of the organization, I care about the top line revenue of the organization, I care about the client and employee retention. So you need to be able to create KPIs throughout your organization that can be transcend through the organization all the way into the workforce. Those KPIs um, need to, so that every part of your organization can uh, play a hand in carrying the whole, um, the whole staff and the whole organization.